Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Opus BT3100 charger. Let me begin by saying that chargers these days are indispensable because if you don't, you are going to pay and pay and pay over and over again for new batteries for just about everything in your life, or at least I know in my life, such as um, batteries in controllers and toys, um, vaping gear, uh, whoops, camera gear. Look at all the batteries on the back of this light. Let's see, what else? Flashlights, what else? Um, here we go, firearms. All those accessories that you'll have on your uh, Glocks or your ARs, 8Ks, you know, I know you. You're the one that has all that stuff all over that AR. Um, even in your equipment set, no, okay, not in your candy. But all these things are using batteries and you keep on putting new ones in and you keep on paying over and over again. And it's a good idea to have rechargeable batteries at some point so you can save some money. Of course there's a little bit of upfront cost because you do have to buy the rechargeable batteries and I always recommend getting really good batteries the first time not get cheap ones and then realize that you need better ones and then go do that whole thing and you work your way up to the good ones anyway. And besides good batteries you need a really really good charger and that's where this BT3100 comes in. This charger has more functions that it's going to make this video really long to go over all the features, all the modes that this guy has. Also, another great thing about this particular charger is it practically handles every type of battery, every type of chemistry, and it can do it all at the same time. And of course, it has a really fancy display, lots of buttons, things I like, even a fan on the back. So, GearBest sent me this for review. And you can purchase it with the link that I provide right below. And right now it's running for $38.99. So let's go ahead and take a close look. Now rather than to bore you to death on all the details and specifications of this, I'm going to go ahead and put all of them down below in the description box. And I'm just going to go over the features sort of as a high to medium overview. So what do you get with this? You, you get the charger, you get the battery adapter, which only used the one that came with it. You get some instructions, and of course the box that it came in, which is colorful. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside. Now, the uh, charger, just taking a look at it, immediately it, it feels of quality. You know how there's some chargers just feel like cheap plastic. Actually, this feels like high-impact plastic. It's sort of a bluish, grayish, purplish, I don't know, bluish, I think like a shell. I don't know. <laughs> I'm wasting too much time talking about the color. Another thing that sort of stood out right away was the fan. So, I, I've had chargers get pretty hot. They have no fan and they just rely on passive radiation to heat to uh, keep themselves cool and, and keep themselves from not burning up. This one actually has a fan that will turn on and off when needed. And you can see there's a little socket there where you would put the charging or put the adapter power plug in and I'll plug that in in a minute. Batteries. This thing can uh, load up a plethora of different types of batteries. Most importantly, it can handle, uh, and I'm juggling my notes here, your standard double A's, which is what most of the stuff that I have in my life use. I try to stick around one particular kind of battery. But this thing could also handle um, triple A's, NICAS, nickel metal hydrides, um, 3.7 volt lithium ion rechargeable batteries in all kinds of sizes. The uh, 10440, the 14500, 16340, 17335, 17500, 18490, 17670, 18650. I mean, it's just, just an amazing selection of chemistry and size and, and volt, different voltages that this can handle. As far as the current that you can uh, select, 
to actually use to charge us. You could charge these batteries with 200 milliamp hours, 300, 500, 700, 1,000. And then on slot number one and four, you could pump it up to 1,500 and 2,000, 2,000, 2,000 milliamp hours on, on these outer ones. So you can see that there's a whole bunch of different ones you could use. All right, so um, for the specific details uh, of every battery and voltage and, and things like that, please, please feel free to go down below and take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and be right back. Again, I want to reiterate, this is going to be an overview, and tr I'm going to try not to get into the weeds and bore everybody to death. So the, the adapter is a 12-volt, 3-amp. Plug that in there, and we have nice lights. I love things that light up. It just uh, makes me feel like it's working. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some batteries in. I have some 18650s in here. Positive, of course, goes up. Helps if I put it in the right way. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just sort of go through the different um, operations and show off the buttons and all the eye candy. You have the slot button, I think is the best one to show off first. By pressing it, you can see how a particular slot will blink. And then as I sequence through, it will go through. You can see that one's blinking there. And then you can see them um, all blink. And that um, basically tells you what you uh, what slot is affecting being affected as you play with the buttons here so mode you have all kinds of different modes here I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the one that doesn't have a battery in it and you have the charge a discharge mode a discharge and then refresh and then you have a test mode and a quick test mode Next is display. Now I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, basically go to, let's go to this slot right here. Now for display, you could sequence through um, different kinds of information on the specific battery or all the batteries. So you have how many, um, the amount of time that battery was in there, how many uh, milliamps is being applied to charge the battery. So right now it's uh, set to 500 milliamps to charge. Then you have the current voltage of the battery. And here is how many milliamp hours have been applied to the battery since you have begun charging. And then you're back to how long the battery has been in there. So really neat. You can see right now since I uh, how it's changing all of them. And of course this one continues to say null <laughs> because there's nothing in there. And then this button here will change the amount of current used to charge the battery, and that I'm not going to play with. But again, you can sequence through um, different amounts, which I've already indicated, and they're also listed below in the description box. Now the fan did come on. You could hear it. And again, this is version uh, 2.2, and one of the big improvements between 2.1 and 2.2 is they quieted up that fan. You know, it, it's just amazing the quality of this. I really love the solid feel of this particular charger over all the other ones I've ever had. Um, those five modes that I talked to you about, I just want to talk about those really quick. Uh, again, overview. Um, the charge setting, which is what all these are on right now, basically charges the battery to its maximum capacity. When it is done charging, then it will apply a trickle charge to maintain that battery as long as it's in the charger um, about 10 milliamps uh, trickle. Then you have a discharge mode which discharges the battery to reduce the memory effect in the battery. Then I uh, spoke about the, the refresh mode that discharges and then charges the battery three complete cycles to optimize its maximum capacity. And then you have two test modes. You have a regular test mode, which checks the capacity of the battery. It takes a while. And then you have a quick test mode, where it just tests the um, internal uh, resistance of the battery to determine how good it is. So if you have a very low resistance, it's good. But as it, if it gets up really high, and I think like over 500 or um, 800 milliamp, you know, I got it in my notes here, but again, I, I did not want to get into the weeds too much, but um, if it gets over 500 uh, milli ohms, 
then your battery has too much internal resistance and it's a key indicator that it's going bad. So that's basically this, uh, an overview of this charger. It is an amazing charger. It's the best one that I've owned. It even has little rubber feet to keep it sliding. Um, I, I love the fan. You can actually hear it cycling up and down as, as needed. So I, I highly recommend this charger. I've been playing with it for um, a couple of days now, just charging batteries. I haven't really exploited all its features, but I can tell you it has worked flawlessly. Um, I just leave the default settings, but I do like the ability to discharge and, and refresh batteries because for me, I have a very bad habit. And that is that when a battery gets to about 50%, I get worried that I'm going to be, you know, caught with a device where the battery is discharged and then I'm screwed. So I immediately will take it out and start charging it. That's bad for certain types of battery that are certain chemistry. It creates a memory where now they won't um, charge back up to their... Uh, biggest capacity because batteries like to be exercised. They like to be um, discharged all the way down. Not not all the way to the bottom, but pretty much most of the way and then charged back up. That will extend the life of, of certain batteries of certain chemistry. So um, this charge can do that for you if you're someone like me who doesn't like to let their batteries discharge all the way while they're in the device being used. And you know, I mean for instance, a photographer, right? You don't want to go out uh, on a on a you know shoot with batteries that are 50 percent, and and then um, you end up where you have no light halfway through whatever it is. So you can uh, pop the batteries in here, discharge them, charge them all the way back up, put them back in your light in this example, and and then you're get the best of both worlds. You've refresh that battery to maintain its capacity and at the same time you are going out in the world with fully charged batteries. There are a lot of things I really like really like about this and you could see how that backlight just went out. One of the things I like is if you press and hold the display button for three seconds then that backlight should stay on and not go out at least according to the instructions. Um, other things, this thing charges um, all the chemistries, the uh, nickel metal hydride, lithium ions, nickel cadiums, um, it, it can handle them all, which is really cool. I like the rubber feet. Uh, I love the build quality of this. I love that it has uh, internal temperature sensors. It has six of them. It has the fan to help heat, you know, just vent that exhaust. It doesn't rely on just passive um, radiation to get rid of that heat. I love that this handles double A's and triple A batteries. I have other chargers that are, you know, very rich in features and have a lot of lights and everything, and they handle all the um, really high end batteries, but they don't handle double A and, and triple A. So then you need a separate charger for that. Well, this can handle all of them and again it can handle all kinds of batteries um, in this example I have the the extremes the 18650 and the double A but it can handle the 16340s the 10440s the 14500s the 16340s the 18500s 18650 the 26500 so those of you who vape on them big giant batteries you know the 26 um, 500s it can handle all of those again um, you could select the amount of current that you apply to the battery during charging or for charging anywhere from 200, 300, 500, 700, 1000 milliamp hours and on these external guys here the slot 1 and 4 you can even pump it up to 1500 and 2000 milliamps so an amazing amount of flexibility in one device amazing amount of safety amazing amount of information capability with all the modes um, at the maximum charging capacity of everything total that this can handle is 2,000 milliamp hours. So, absolutely amazing product, well built. Um, very happy with this charger. I've been using it for a couple of days in, in its simplest of modes, simplest of features, just charging batteries up. But um, I love. <laughs> this charger. This is going to be my everyday charger uh, from now 
in. I was using a different one before, but I'm, I'm going to go to this guy. I feel like it can handle all my needs in just one device, and uh, it, it's just cool with the light. <laughs> so here's the deal. You're never going to find a charger like this in your average big box store. They just have very basic chargers. To get something with all these features, you're going to have to go online. And uh, what better place than GearBest? Right now, they are selling this uh, very advanced charger for a really good price. Um, $38.99. And they get things, at least to me, really, really quick. They usually send DHL from China to here. I usually get in a couple of days amazingly, amazingly fast. So, um, really, really cool. Now, I, I think you have to pay a little extra for that DHL, if I'm not mistaken. They, they do have, you can select different options, so it might cost you a couple of extra bucks. But anyway, amazing charger. I'm very happy with it. And uh, this is my everyday charger now. All right, well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and especially you. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.